start with the fact that my dad was in the oil business, so I knew about oil exploration. He was not a geologist, but his job was tying up the land. You know, I like sciences in high school, and chemistry, physics, any kind of science, biology. But when I went off to university, I chose to study other things, just to learn about things I hadn't learned, and probably defy my father, who felt I should be a, in hardcore sciences. The only thing I liked out of what I'd taken was geography. Mm -hmm. So I, I chose a major in that. And then by my third year in, in my BA for geography, I took a geology elective. And as soon as I took that, that was it. I realized I liked it. I loved it. I decided to get the, the basic Bachelor of Arts and then apply to master's program at UBC. So I was in Ontario, Western Ontario at that point, got that degree. Came out to UBC to do a master's. Um, but the professor I had that had accepted me decided my thesis should be something to do with palynology, which is the study of spores. And when I asked him why he chose that for me, he explained that he thought it was a very good field for women because you could spend your life in a laboratory, have a nine to five job, and be home every night. And I, my first reaction was, well, thank you very much, but I think you got the wrong woman. <laughs> so. In addition to that, and the fact that I did find geology very hard because I had not now had the science background I should have had. Um, my marks weren't the greatest and I decided to just get the Bachelor of Science in Geology and then come back from the Masters uh, if and when I couldn't find work. And in my case, I've never gone out back to do the Masters, so I've had um, a great a lot of fun and um, I've yeah, really enjoyed my career so far. So. First summer, um, it, which was in 79, Mining was booming, and so it was easy, not easy to get a job. There were some people still that weren't hiring women necessary for the field, but lots of them were. So um, as long as you knew you had to put on a raincoat and go to work, uh, like everybody else in, in the field, um, that there were lots of jobs. And so I was able to get a job with coal exploration in northern BC and learned that we had to pack a rifle because of grizzly bears which I didn't mind at all, and um, had a great summer, and managed to be hired by the company to do my thesis, because my thesis was the report they needed anyway. So my third year of getting my Bachelor of Science, I actually worked half-time. When I graduated in 81, gold was at $800 an ounce, so my first offer of, upon graduating was running a field, of, uh, a field crew of 10, and I, my response when I was offered that job was, I know nothing about gold exploration. And, and the person that hired me said, um, gold's at $800 an ounce. You're a geologist, you'll figure it out. Um, After 10 years of ex being an exploration geologist, running exploration, big, big projects, little projects, I decided it was time to start a family. Uh, once I started having children, the work I could find, well, some was in, uh, if it was in Vancouver, I was able to do modeling. Um, in Perplast Dome, did a lot of porphyry modeling, which was great. And then I found a lot of um, work as a consultant doing due diligence. So because I had 10 years experience, I was able to do short, short field visits to collect my own samples, but then the rest of my work was in my home, writing the reports. And so that was great work as I, uh, with young children. And I was working in diamond exploration in Northwest Territories, having been trained by Chuck Fipke, um, in diamonds before the lac de Grau was discovered and there weren't very many uh, Canadian geologists that knew much about diamonds. What I always say about our business that I enjoy so much is yes, it's, I have a science background, but really I've, I'm a people person. Learning different cultures and meeting people from all over the world. Opportunities don't come by every day of your life and you have to seize them when they are there. As we know, the cycles of our business, the being in the right place at the right time, meeting the right people, when, is, when are discoveries going to be made, being able to raise money, all these things are hard to, well, I just, you know, you can't put them all together when you want them. So, and, and then I had enough people around me encouraging me. I was asked to give a talk a couple of months ago at Women in Mining in Vancouver, and, and I, I was pretty nervous, um, I was, because uh, there's a lot of women that are done, you, you know, very big things. Um, but I found the crowd to be very friendly, and there's about 200 people in the room, and including all my colleagues and lots of men. Um, and it actually ended up being just a fun, more almost comical, but like fireside chat. 
And my first comment was, you know, my first word of advice to women in our industry is just get out there and do it. And the first thing you should do is forget you're a woman. And doesn't mean you don't like being a woman or you're trying to pretend you're not a woman and you're not trying to be a man, but the world is our oyster and our careers are our careers and we're out there genderless, so to speak, and our genders don't matter. And um, just love what you're doing, be good at what you're doing, and I've never found any roadblocks. And um, I just, I think you take advantage of every opportunity you have. You obviously make your choices for yourself because you have to have passion um, in what you're going to do with your life. And I think it has steered me very well, and I've really enjoyed it. You know, growing up as a, as, as a young lady, wondering what you're going to do, be allowed to do with your life, be able to do with your life. I never imagined I'd be out in some very interesting places, sleeping with a gun underneath my pillow, <laughs> be, it, be it for grizzly bears or, or other reasons. Um, but it's been, yeah, it's been really exciting and it's, it's, I've still got a long way to go and a long time to have a lot of fun.